Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 9 cute Minecraft mods for 1.16 and 1.17. If you would like to know how to download mods for Minecraft Java Edition, you can click the i in the top right corner of this video for a video tutorial on how to do that. The majority of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please do consider subscribing, it's completely free and you can always unsubscribe later on if you wish to. Make sure to leave a like and also turn on notifications so you never miss any of my new uploads. And without further ado, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. The first mod on the list is the Zetter Painting mod. This mod allows you to create your very own paintings. To start, you will need to craft an easel, a canvas, and some paint to craft a palette. You will also need an artist table. To start painting, you will need to set everything up first. Place the easel, then make sure the palette is in your hotbar. You can place the artist table nearby as you will need that later. Right click the easel with the canvas to place it. Add the palette from your hotbar to the small slot on the bottom right to start drawing. Above the palette slot you have 14 spaces for colors. You can save up to 14 colors and choose the colors you want from the color adjustment menu at the very bottom. If you want a specific color to use, you can add the hex color code in the slot above the color adjustment menu. At the far left, you have three options for tools you can use. The pencil, color picker tool, and the bucket. And in the main square in the very middle is where you can draw. You can take your canvas by shifting then right clicking it. If you're working on more than one canvas as part of being a bigger picture, you can combine the canvases together using the artist table. You can also name your painting. If you don't want to combine any canvases but want to sign your canvas with a name, you can just add the single canvas in the artist table and do so. And this mod also has many types of frames you can craft to place your art on walls. The next mod is Delaney's Swamp Expansion mod. This mod adds a few more vanilla features to the swamp biome. Those features are both decorative and useful. You will find many new plants that now spawn in the swamp. As you walk through the swamp, you will come across a new plant called wild rice. Once broken, the plant has a chance of dropping new rice seeds which can be used to plant more rice. Rice has a similar growth process to wheat. It has 7 stages of growth and once it is golden, it means it has reached the final stage for harvest. The rice crop will only drop one rice. The rice can be used in a crafting table to create rice seeds or you can cook the rice. To cook rice, add it above a water bucket in a crafting table. Then place it in a furnace to cook and you should get a pile of cooked rice that is ready to be eaten. The rice allows you to create other food recipes such as sushi, dango, and fried rice. 
you will also come across four new types of mushrooms. One of them is the blue mushroom which can be used in a mushroom jar as a cute decorative light. You can also craft a functional mushroom basket and store mushrooms in it. This next mod is called Icarus. Many of us who are familiar with the Wings mod are mostly disappointed that there aren't any mods for Wings for the latest versions of Minecraft. But with this mod, you won't be disappointed anymore. There are 5 different Wings added to the game, including 3 unique ones. Each of the Wings can be crafted in every color except for the unique Wings. Wings cost hunger while flying, and their max speed gets slowed down when wearing armor. The more armor you're wearing, the more you get slowed down. Next, we have the Nature Expansion mod. This mod improves Minecraft's vegetation by adding new flowers and foods. The overworld, the nether, and the end are all enhanced. The features added by this mod include over 20 new types of flowers, the badlands and desert biomes are improved with a new plant called the death grass. The end now has chorus grass and chorus flowers. The nether has new flowers which are the crimson roses, warped roses, and soul roses. A new food called yucca can now be found in dark forests. However, it is poisonous if eaten raw. You will now find blueberries in taiga biomes. And finally, caves are also improved with stone grass. This next mod is called Apple Expansion. Apple Expansion gives apples more features. The new features added by this mod include a new type of tree known as the apple tree will now spawn in plains biomes. This allows you to collect and farm apples in a different way. And you can also craft your very own apple tree sapling. This mod adds two new colors for apples which are green and orange. They can also be used to craft golden apples. However, horses hate these two apples so make sure you feed them the red ones. You can now craft apple juice using any apple and a glass bottle. Apple juice will give you speed and saturation. There is a chance you may get a poisoned apple from an apple tree but you can also craft it. Once consumed, this apple will give you nausea and poison. You can now create caramel by smelting sugar in a smoker. And if you combine an apple with caramel, you can craft a cute caramel apple. You can create a chocolate apple by crafting a chocolate bar using two cocoa beans and then combining the bar with an apple. Once consumed, the apple will give you resistance to as well as slowness too. You can also craft two types of apple pie using the following recipes. And you have the ability to craft an enchanted golden apple with this mod. Next, we have the cute hermit crabs mod. This is rather a simple mod that adds cute crabs to the game. Along with the crabs, there are three new features. You can craft a shell mitt from broken shell pieces. This helmet gives you resistance when you sneak. You can obtain broken shell pieces from hermit crabs. Crabs will also drop raw crab which can be cooked and eaten as a food source. The next mod is Croptopia. This mod adds a bunch of new crops to your world that can be obtained from different biomes. You can get seeds for crops by breaking grass or ferns in a swamp, plains, forest, jungle, savanna, or desert biome. With all the new crops added, you have a bigger variety of plants you can farm and a big selection of food recipes you can craft. You can also plant different trees such as banana trees, cherry trees, coconut trees, and many more. Next is the Grizzly Bear mod. 
This is also another simple mod that adds grizzly bears to your world. As cute as these bears may seem, they are hostile mobs and like to attack smaller animals. And for the final mod of this video is Cozy Comforts. Cozy Comforts is a camping mod that adds a variety of new types of camping gear and blocks. You can create bonfires, cook marshmallows or hot dogs on a stick, and explore your surroundings using new tools. The new tools added include a rope, water flask, sleeping bags, a glass jar, hiking boots that give you unlimited speed, and a cooking pot. New foods are also added such as different kinds of sandwiches, s'mores, blueberries, black raspberries, and jam. You can create different types of jam such as blueberry jam, sweet berry jam, and apple jam. And I think these jam jars are super cute to decorate the inside of your builds with. You can also cook different kinds of soup using cooking pots. And there are many new designed carved pumpkins. This mod definitely adds enough features to make a camping experience much more fun.